Hi guys, today I am doing an unboxing and a review on the ArcMedo 24 gigabyte Wi-Fi camera. Now this is a nice compact little camera based on what the size of the box is. I have not opened it before, so we're gonna go through everything together and that way you and I can learn together how to get this working. So let's open up the box and see what we have in here. So right on the top, you have your instruction booklet. And it's pretty big. Got all that for instructions. And it is in one, two, three, four, five, six different languages there. So let's take a look at the camera itself. Out. They have it nicely boxed, so it is in styrofoam to protect it. And this can be mounted on the wall as well as just setting it on a tabletop. So here is what the camera itself looks like. And then we also have the power cord, which is a USB. And there is a USB charger adapter in there, as well as a mount if you wanted to mount it on the wall. This is metal, by the way. And then we've got a little package of hardware. So it looks like everything that we need is in there. Get some of the stuff out of the way. Let me tell you a little bit about this camera first, just in reading what the features are supposed to be. Um, so again, this is a Wi-Fi camera. It has two-way audio along with Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth allows you to play music so you can connect like your phone or tablet to it and play some music. That way, if you're using this as a baby monitor, you can play like some soft music or something to help them get to sleep. It does have, um, infrared vision so it does give you the night vision it's 1080p uh, it also has pan and tilt capability and it has 155 degree horizontal rotation so that's pretty good uh, comes again with the wall mount which we already took a little look at and this does do the motion detection too. So if you want to set it to um, alert you when there's any motion, you can set that up. And the other nice thing is you can actually record directly to an SD card. So that way, if you want to record anything that is actually happening, you can do that directly on the card. So this would be great, um, obviously, is using for like a baby monitor, a pet monitor, using for home security, um, office security, anything like that, that you just want to be able to see what is going on. So first thing I want to do is start reading these instructions. So it says I want to install the app, which is called, it just gives me a QR code. So I'm supposed to scan the QR code and then install the app. So hold on just a bit and I will do that and I'll be right back. All right, the app itself is called HiCam HD. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Now, when you do um, go in to look at this, the previews are in, looks like Chinese or something. So you're not gonna be able to really gather much information from this, but let's go ahead and open the app. And it tells us to welcome, it doesn't find any devices. You have not added any equipment. Confirm that. No, I have not. So it tells me down here that I want to click the plus sign up here in the corner to add a device, but I haven't even plugged this in yet. So I think really that should be our first step. Let me get this all set up. And again, I'll be right back. All right. Um, I do have it ready to be plugged in, but I do want to just show you a few things on the actual face of the camera itself. So you'll notice down here you've got your uh, speaker icon as well as the Wi-Fi is next to it. This is going to be your actual speaker in the back. 
you have a plug in for an ethernet cable this is where you would plug in your sd card and then this is where we're going to go ahead and plug in the camera to the power source and on the bottom there's the screw for mounting it so it's lit up in the back with the yellow light and we've got a yellow light in the front as you can see it's starting to move and beep a lot so let's let it run through its little cycle there. It says it does take about a minute to start the device up. And I'm going to need to go in and make sure that I've got my Wi-Fi set to a 2.4 gigahertz instead of my five. So one second there. All right, I have my home Wi-Fi now connected. So let's go ahead and hit that plus signal. And it is uh, saying here before configuring the network, make sure that the device is powered on and reset. If you're using the dual band router, Please make sure it is on the 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi 5G Wi-Fi will not connect. So that's what I just did with mine was switch my phone over from the two, I'm sorry, from the 5 gig to the 2.4. Okay, it has found my router here. So let's go ahead and select that. Oh, it wants me to put in the password. So let me do that off screen real quick. And then it gives me the box here if I want to save that password. So I am going to go ahead and check that so I won't have to type it in. Then we can go to next. Oh, showing my password. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put my thumb right across here so you don't see my password. As you can see, hopefully I'm getting kind of a glare from the lights, but down at the bottom, it's showing the progress. Oh, finished already. So it's got everything set up there for adding the device. And all I need to do now is hit finish. And I guess I should take this plastic off the front. I thought I would bring something a little bit decorative over here that we can take a look at. So I'm in pretty dim lighting right now. So let's look at a couple things that it might show here. So every time I'm moving something, I'm getting an alarm reminder. So I'll show you that. That's when you hear it beeping. So that's because the motion detector is going to come on there. So it's kind of delayed. But it shows me here that it's online. I can change the name of the camera right here. So I can go name it, I'll just do camera for now. And let's see what we get. So it wants to be able to access my microphone, which we would want if you want to be able to have the two-way audio. And then it's showing that you pan left or right or up and down just by swiping. Oh, there we go. So there it is panning. Let's go up. Wow, that's pretty smooth and pretty real time. That's pretty awesome. That was a very easy um, setup. So we're gonna get some squealing here because of the um, just the talk back I'm going to get if I press to talk. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So again, that's really well. It's showing uh, the date on there as well as the time. I can take a still picture of that. Looks like by pressing that little camera icon. So there, it just took a picture. See, I can switch it from VGA to 1080p by pressing there. I can mute the sound or turn it on. <laughs> this is where I can go back and play. 
I can do preset um, commands. So for example, if you have it set up for one location and you want to be able to monitor any movement in the room and you want the camera to say, go to a doorway, um, that's what the camera would do for that particular um, alarm that you have set. It would go to the doorway. And then you can also press this and it's going to give you a full screen of it that way. And again, you've got the same icons just across the bottom. Normally, you should just be able to tilt it. You don't really need to press that arrow. But that's really, really good. Now, let's see how it does in the dark. I'm going to take it to a dark location and plug it in there. And then we can see how, actually, I can just turn my lights off since it's nighttime. And we'll see how it does in recording in the dark. All right, I've kept the camera at the same location we just had it on so you can get an idea. Um, it's not going to show up nearly as clear with me recording it right now because I'm just getting, you know, blur back from the glass on my lens. Um, but you're getting a really crisp and clear picture here. Let me try and kind of adjust that a little bit better. Get in a little closer. All right, let me show you how you can um, move this around as well. There's the, um, it says PTZ control here. So that is pan, tilt, zoom. So you can press these arrows here to actually move it. Or again, you can just simply do it right on the screen with your finger. So whatever works easier for you, it's going to work fine. The next test I want to do is kind of get some colors out for you so we can see um, how well the colors show up on this. So let me get some more lights on and I will be back again. All right, I went ahead and added a little light straight on to, this is just a balloon I got for Mother's Day and it just has a lot of colors in there. So I thought that would be something good to kind of show you some crisp colors. Um, but here is how it looks. So this is what it looks like on the phone. You can just see how bright and vibrant everything was. And it also, I don't know if you can see here, I have to go in and actually, no, it has the date already in there. So it's got the date and the time. So you can see when uh, things happen. Let me focus on my camera here. And then it'll say online number one. So this is my first device. If I had multiple devices, um, that way you can label them on. The on-screen controls go away until you press it, and they'll stay on for just a little bit. But you have the option to take a photo. And again, I hope that's showing up for you to see. There we go. So you can take a photo, or you can take a video right there if you'd like to. And then you can even zoom in yeah you can zoom in as well so if there's something you want to be able to see that's really intricate let's move this balloon out of the way Oops. and get to the little angel that's there let's zoom in on her now focus everywhere so now i can focus in get a lot of good detail and zoom all the way back out so again just take a picture saved it start a video mute your microphone so you don't get that going but again it's recording to the video and that's all you need to do and then shut it back off again Okay, I also want to show you a few other features about it. If you see down here at the bottom, it says device and then album. Album is where any of your photos and your video are stored. Oops, let me scroll down there so you can see it. So it's giving you the date and then here's the um, video right there because it's got the triangle on it and those are two photos that I took. You can edit them from there. So you can just go ahead and delete whichever ones you want to. Say so you're finished. You hit the back arrow up here in the corner, and that's going to take you back to, let's go back to the device. So you've got your settings up here, 
and this has all your camera, like your UID number, you've got your camera details. So it's telling you the IP address, which I'm going to blur out so you don't see all this. Um, your vision update. And we'll go back. You can change the password. You can change the camera name. And it's saying that it does not detect an SD card. It tells you your Wi-Fi setup. This is where you can change your time zone in there. Um, what you get for your alerts, so setting up your zones, what sound it's going to play, um, what level of detection you want it on, which you have your choice of lowest, lower, high, higher, or highest. I guess there's no medium in there. Uh, then we have night vision can be set to auto, which means, sorry, I'm going out of screen there. Um, so in the night vision, you can let it detect when it's not getting enough light from the daytime and it needs to switch over and turn the infrared on. So auto is almost always your best choice on that. Let's go back. And then you can also mirror and flip it. So you would want to use that. Let's say you have this hanging on a wall and you had it turn to look at that device or whatever, it's gonna do, it, you wanna have it flipped around because otherwise it's gonna show upside down on your screen. So that allows you to mirror and flip it if you need be. And then we also have uh, environment. So it's set for indoor, you can go to outdoor. That's mostly just for the IR lights. Um, here's where you can have the night vision be on auto, the infrared LED be on auto. You've got your volume as well. And then if you ever want to just remove the camera, you're not going to be using it anymore for some reason, this is where you would delete the camera from the app. And you'd want to do a reset on that before you would um, have anybody else use it. So pretty easy to navigate around in all the functions. In the settings, you've got your user tab over here. This goes to your settings where you capture photos. There, just got an alarm because I moved it. So you can see that is a little bit delayed. Uh, you've got the alarm push. So this will say, do not allow notifications. So maybe it's bedtime and you don't want your phone going off because your dog's gonna be roaming around the house or whatever. You could turn that off and on as you so choose. Let's go back to this. I have a hard time pressing with my fake nails, sorry about that. And then about, um, it just tells you the software number. It'll show up as another app that you just have to do your software updates on. So it's very, very easy to use. Trust me, I have set up a ton of different Wi-Fi cameras. And this one is just great. It's nice and compact. It does not weigh hardly anything at all. And I like the sleek design of it. It would blend in very well to, um, if you want to kind of hide it anywhere, maybe put it between some books or something like that, it would blend in pretty well. Um, the one thing I will say about IR, doesn't look very well through glass. So during the daytime, you're fine. Um, you're going to be able to view anything that's going on outside. If you choose to keep this indoors, but you're trying to look out a window, for example. But at nighttime, once those infrared lights kick on, you're going to get a reflection back. So all you're going to see is a black haze with a bright ring of lights around the center, which are reflecting off of the camera. So but that is pretty much everything that there is to get the Archimedo camera up and running. And I think it's pretty darn cool. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I will have a link down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing it or wanting more information. So thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.